right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2008 Ford Taurus X Eddie Bauer Edition. Up front is a 3.5 liter V6. Down below is a six speed automatic transmission. Now I'm super excited to be driving this here Ford Taurus X because it's a very quirky, very weird SUV. They didn't make them for very long, only from 2008 to 2009. So only two model years of the Taurus X, but they did make the Ford Freestyle before that. And we'll get into that a little bit later on. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, zachpradle.com, where you can buy stickers like this retro sticker pack that I have available. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 3.5 liter under the hood, making about 263 horsepower. Now, that's not anything crazy. However, I think it does make pretty solid power, if I do say so myself. And a lot of Fords came with this engine. The Ford Taurus regularly came with this engine. The Ford Explorer later came with this engine. The Ford Police Taurus Interceptors from later on came with this engine. And so it's a pretty work through engine and Ford knows their way around it. You're not doing a whole lot of guesswork when running with these. Like I said, paired to it is a six speed automatic transmission. It's shifting well, doing the job, and I don't really have any complaints about it. Last but not least, this here Ford Taurus X is all wheel drive, which is a really nice feature. And we'll talk about some other nice features that come with that a little bit later on. With that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have four physical gauges. On the left is a tachometer. In the center, I get my coolant temperature and fuel. And on the right, I have the speedometer. I also get a little digital readout down at the bottom for like my odometer and things like that, which is really nice. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my cruise control settings. And on the right, I have my radio settings for seek, volume, media, and mute. I also have a couple buttons around the back of the right-hand side of the steering wheel. That is for changing the display in the gauge cluster. The overall steering wheel is pretty dated. It's definitely seen a lot since this vehicle has 207,000 miles on it, but I think it's held up relatively well for that mileage. Off to the left, I do have a climate control vent and my headlight switches, gauge dimmer switches, and electronic pedal adjusters. So I can bring the pedals closer or further away from me. Moving on to the door, I have my latch to get in and out, my lock and unlock, power windows, and my child locks. Moving into the center, I have a giant storage compartment up above the climate control vents. This is really nice if you have any little things you don't want rolling around your interior, you can pop them right up top here, which is fantastic. Then I have the climate control vents, very standard there, and a very, very typical Ford Ranger radio from this era i'm not shocked at all however down below that we do have the climate controls i have heated seats which is a great feature i also have rear climate controls which is also a very great feature and they are very simple easy to read easy to see and i like that in my climate controls I do have my hazard switch and traction control and then three dead switches and a 12 volt outlet. Moving on to the center console, you just get the shifter, pretty basic there. And then we do have cup holders off to the right. So let's do a big friggin' bottle test here in the Ford Taurus X. And unfortunately it fails the big friggin' bottle test. I didn't really expect it to pass. However, I was right in that assumption. <laughs> Then I do get a little cubby and a center console, another 12 volt outlet in that center console. And I can open up just the lid of the center console or the center console as a whole, which is very nice. The seats are power, they are leather, and they are heated, which is very, very nice. And I'm sure a reflection of the Eddie Bauer edition, the nice light tan interior contrasting with the wood on the dash and the black dashboard kind of all actually works together a lot better than I would have thought. However, speaking of seats, we do have two more rows of seating. So let's go do some back seat reviews. All right, so we're in the back of the 2008 Ford Taurus Cross or Ford Taurus X, whatever. And a couple of things to note back here. First of all, I do have this fixed center console here in the center. It has two plastic cup holders, little openable center console, and that's pretty much it. I do have a 12 volt outlet back here. Knee room great, head room great. This is a built for passengers vehicle. So it has those nice amenities and has nice spacing. They're not cramming me into the second row, but that might change with the third row. So let's go hop into third row and talk about it. All right, so now we're in the third row of the Taurus Cross 
and it's not fantastic, but I'm a very big guy. I don't fit in the third rows of most vehicles besides minivans. So this is pretty much on par with a Chevy Tahoe. It's on par with a 04 Chrysler Pacifica. It's on par with a lot of vehicles in this segment. Really, if you really, really need a third row seat, get a minivan get a minivan. But let's go hop around and talk about the cargo space because there's something interesting with these seats back there. All right, so around the back of the Taurus Cross. And the nice thing is that these seats can actually, you pull one, you pull two to release it, and then you flip it around and bring it back here, pull two to release, flip it around, bring it down here. Now you have a flat loading floor where the seats previously were. That's kind of nice. However, flipping these back up, if you have a bad back, they're not gonna be very friendly to you. And something that I missed, there is a 12 volt outlet way up over here, kind of interesting. But tons of great cargo space in the back of the Ford Taurus X, really Ford Freestyle, but Taurus X, whatever. And I'm really, really happy with it. Now we gotta talk about the looks and obviously one of the most notable parts of the Eddie Bauer edition is that red and tan dual color exterior. I think it looks rugged. I think it looks interesting. And I think it looks very weird. Something that we don't really see much of anymore. I, I, I don't know why there's just this very weird feeling I get when looking at this car. But with that being said, let's get on to my final thoughts on the Ford Taurus X or Ford Taurus Cross. It might be Ford Taurus Cross because there's also the Cross Tour Honda Accord, which I would love to review one day. And from what I read, the original concept was originally the Ford Cross Trainer. So maybe it is Ford Taurus Cross. Maybe I've been saying that wrong. I apologize. But let's get a little bit of history of this car before we get on to my final thoughts. This originally was sold from 2005 to 2007 as the Ford Freestyle. But then in 2008, Ford was reintroducing the Ford Taurus into their lineup. So they renamed the Ford Freestyle the Ford Taurus Cross, which is so dumb in my opinion, but... This isn't the only time we've seen Ford do this. They recently released the Ford Bronco Sport and the Ford Bronco at nearly the same time with the Ford Bronco Sport coming out first, which immediately killed everyone's reaction because they're like, oh, this is the new Bronco. It's a tiny little SUV. So why Ford has this pattern of naming two different vehicles the same thing when they're first announced? I don't know why they do this. They did this with the Taurus X. They did this now with the Freestyle and the Bronco and... Maybe it's just one of their trends. And so when it was renamed to this, the Taurus Cross in 2008, it only lasted until 2009 because then Ford brought in the Ford Flex, which was a completely different vehicle, all new stuff, but it was their three row sort of lower down SUV. It wasn't quite an expedition. It was more of a family hauler type vehicle. And so the Ford Flex killed the Taurus, which was really the freestyle. Ugh, very, very strange. But how do I feel driving the Ford Taurus Cross, the Ford Taurus X, whatever you want to call it. Well, I think it's not inherently a bad car. To be fair, I do have some nostalgia with one of these. One of my really good friends growing up drove a red Ford Freestyle. And I remember we took it to go get Slurpees on 7-Eleven day well over half a decade ago. And so I have a sweet spot for these cars, of course. But I think it does have some nice features in here. I like the heated seats. I like the interior. It's sort of all over the place, but it is sort of cohesive as one as well there's tan black and wood accents all in here put together and it actually i think works which a lot of cars can't pull off i like the space i like the three rows obviously there's no longer a need for this car because of the ford flex but also i think this is an interesting look into the late 2000s this is one of the first times where an automaker took a car name and applied it to an SUV, something that's very common today with the Eclipse Cross from Mitsubishi, with the Corolla Cross from Toyota, the Mustang Mach-E, something we're starting to see quite frequently now. Well, the Ford Taurus was doing that back in 2008. And so that's my final thoughts. That's how I feel about this car is that it's more of just an interesting case study, if anything else. The engines are pretty reliable. This car is still kicking it at 207,000 miles not an easy task. I don't know. I think this is just a, a sign of what the heck were we doing in 2008? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a quick little trip down memory lane with me throughout this Ford Taurus Cross. I'm glad I was able to show it to you guys. It's definitely super unique, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.